Good morning and welcome to this week's Grow where we gather to recharge, organize, and work here as members of MWEG. We're so glad that you're joining us today. Um, we are going to be speaking about what it looks like to be an MWEG ambassador and what that might be if you're curious um, how we're using that term. So we have a group of MWEG leaders here with us today that are going to explain what that is and have an invitation for all of our members. Um, so I'm going to turn the time over to Jennifer Walker Thomas, who is our co executive director, and she works with our empower team, our engage team, um, and everybody, all the teams really. Um, but she's going to talk to us today and let us know a little bit about that. And then we'll just have some other um, leaders from our membership team talk to us. Perfect. So in case you might have not noticed, hopefully you have noticed, but in case you have not, MWEG uh, about two weeks ago launched our very first full intensive member drive. And we've been doing it a little bit behind the scenes for a few months before that. And now we are doing um, a more public facing campaign. And we have been around for a while. MWEG has been on the scene for seven, eight years, I should know off the top of my head now. And we have never... Um, purposefully sought to aggressively build our membership um, until now. And part of that was we started out with a really strong stable of women who had joined us on Facebook in the very early days. And then part of that also was that we spent the last few years building a community and an organization that was actually prepared to do something meaningful and to give you opportunities to be part of a rich and vibrant community. Um, and and we feel like this is our moment. We've arrived at a point where two things are true. First, um, MWEG has matured enough. We're in some very important and significant spaces in terms of advocacy, peacemaking, um, bridge building in our nation. And at every turn, we are hearing word from leaders of those organizations that the women of MWEG are just gaining an extraordinary rep reputation for being competent, um, peaceful, really effective um, advocates and bridge builders. And so we want there to be more of you. Um, we want to be able to find you, to know you, to have you be part of our community so that as opportunities arise and as we have the opportunity to work collectively as a group of women to make a difference, that our, our, as our membership grows, our influence goes grows. It grows both because just a raw number is really important. It's a big difference if you can say, I represent 500 women, or if you can say I represent 5,000, or if you can say I represent 50,000. As you can imagine, that really changes the tenor of conversations. But it also means that we can reach you and we have thousands of more women who we can reach out to with opportunities and how and we can offer engagement opportunities too. So um, so that's the first reason. The second reason is because we care about the fact that there are now we have realized quite literally thousands of women who are looking for a place that they can engage productively and hopefully with um, their democracy and with their community and, and in a way to help build their nation that is not overtly partisan, that is not combative, that is not violent. They want a space where they can lean into the core values of their faith and their identity in order to try to um, impact and affect change in the world. And um, often, I we joke about this all the time, but it is quite literally true. It is not a joke. On almost a weekly basis, we have someone who finds MWEG and the words out of their mouth were, I didn't know you existed. I have needed you. And so part of our membership campaign is to help find the women who would like to be in this kind of community and who want to make a difference without, um, without having to give their whole life over to politics, but want to be part of a community. So today we want to share with you uh, another way that you who are already members of MWEG, already women participating in our organization, can be really important participants as we try to expand our influence and our membership. Um, we hear repeatedly that one of the best ways that women hear about MWEG is through trusted friends and family members, and we want to be able to help you um, reach out to your friends and introduce this organization to them in a way that is easy for you and um, helps them understand why the, this might be a great opportunity for them to join. So in 
the interest of a more hopeful, just, and peaceful world, which is what we are already always, always working for, um, we want to share with you today um, some opportunities for you to help us build this organization. And I think, Anna, are you, Anna, are you and Rachel going to share something with us next? Yes, Rachel hey. and I were. Um, Rachel, do you want to start by sharing some of the numbers that we have? Yeah, I can do that. I just got home. One thing I love about MWAG is I can do this with my other thing. And I teach early morning seminary. So I just got home from that. Um, just in time. So the last two months, um, Anna and I, as we're in circle directors, so we oversee membership, we have been working on um, trying to get working in small, the, the chapters that we have, we have 14 state chapters, and we've been working to get those um, MWAG members who are um, in the Facebook groups, but have not yet fully signed up for full MWAG membership. So we've been working on getting them to take the next step, which is a two minute step to give us their email and their state and their zip code so that we can send them newsletters and we can send them opportunities that way. And so they can join in our new app, MWAG Central. Um, so we've been doing a lot of um, outreach through emails, through Facebook posts, and now we're doing Facebook Messenger. And we're excited about the responses. Um, as you know, in the early days, um, as Jen mentioned, joining MWAG meant jumping on the Facebook group. And then we built out an organization that is much more robust. And so we want better engagement than, than, than Facebook can offer us. So we really want everybody signed up and we don't want to miss any women who think that their members are really want to be members and engaged, but, but who have not yet taken that step. So we're trying to reach them. So successes we have seen, um, in our central chapter spaces, we have seen growth in every single chapter, anywhere from 20% to 50% growth, um, we have gotten, um, I mean, so that is incredible. And and in MWEG Central itself, we've seen a 35% jumping growth in just two months. So we're thrilled about that, um, but we're not done. Like we want more. And we noticed that like we were talking to one of the chapter leaders yesterday in our meeting. And she said that about a third of her Facebook members have moved over and that's thrilling, but it also means that two thirds haven't. So we're, we are excited to have some of you help us and especially those who are in one of the 14 chapters to go and look at your friends that are on the Facebook group, the MWAG chapter Facebook group, and to just check in with them to see if they've joined um, over and downloaded the app and joined Central. That, that would be a great next step. So, um, and we think that those women that join and come over to Central are going to be very pleased with the platform. It's much easier to navigate than Facebook and less, much less toxic. And we can actually communicate with you directly, especially when we have opportunities to do some real advocacy work. Anyway, and I'm going to turn the time over to Anna. I know she's got a, a happy story, like a success story. So, Okay, thanks. So uh, Megan is going to be talking more about what it means to be an ambassador and different things that you can do. Um, to be an ambassador. And I just wanted to share an experience that I had uh, just last week as I uh, hosted one of our first in-person book groups. We have an online book group that meets every month. And if that's something that interests you, please join that space on Central and um, attend book group. They are really great. And uh, so we were excited to try doing it in person and I hosted one and just at uh, my local park and we had about 10 women come and most of them were people that I knew, uh, some of my friends and it, it was really very simple. I just, all I did was post on uh, Instagram and Facebook and I had several friends contact me and we had a wonderful discussion and it was very exciting. But the thing that was most exciting to me was, you know, one of my neighbors came and she's uh, about my mom's age. And so she and I have never talked about 
uh, any of our political beliefs or anything before. And so she was just so excited to learn about MWIC. She had never heard of MWIC, didn't know anything about it, and was really excited to meet these other women. And uh, she was like, I'm going to go home and join right away. I am really excited about this. And then another friend of mine came and she had such a nice time. And I just, as I was driving her home, she said to me, I feel like I found home. And I was so excited about that. So something just very simple, posting on social media helped bring some women together and introduce them to existing members. And uh, they are now excited to join. I love that story, Anna. Um, did you, Rachel, have anything else before we jump to the next section? Section. No, go for it. I'm excited to hear what you've got to say. Okay. Well, Anna's story is the perfect segue into what we need from you, which is um, your help bringing more women into this organization. Um, we know that the most effective way of bringing people into anything is through a personal contact, right? If you, if you go to one of your friends and say, MWEG is awesome, that's going to be a lot more effective than them sort of just, you know, maybe stumbling across something on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, right? Um, and so we are putting together what we're calling our member ambassador packet. And that might sound like super official. It's really not. You're already here. You're already part of MWEG, which means hopefully um, you are willing to share it and talk to people about it who you think might be interested. And I know MWEG does a lot. Uh, sometimes it's hard to distill it down into, you know, a short blurb that you could text someone or post on social media. So we did that part for you. Um, <laughs> so let me just share, sorry, I got to find screen share. There we go. Okay. I am going to share with you our member ambassador packet. Oh, it says my screen sharing is paused. Hang on. Maybe I'm not going to share a member ambassador packet. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Rachel, do you have any idea? It just says your screen sharing is paused. No, it's done this to me, but it does tell us that you're sharing your screen. So I'm not sure. Are you exactly. seeing it? No, it just says that you've started sharing. Okay. But it's I got, done oh, oh, now I see it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. It just got cranky about which page I was on, I guess. Okay. So here we go. Mem MWEG member ambassador packet. Um, so we basically came up with some sample scripts, some links, some gathered some of our uh, social media posts, things like that, that we feel like are a simple and easy way for you to share. And so we have a few different categories like sharing one-on-one. -on -one. So, and this honestly is going to be the most directly effective is if you can say, hey, individual friend, I know you are doing the following things or interested in the following things. And you can reach out with a specific thing about MWAG that fits their interests. Um, so we came up with like a few scenarios, like if you know women who engage thoughtfully in tough conversations or who don't like the divisiveness of politics, right? Maybe you can share something with them about our peacemaking resources. Um, and so the, we just came up with some little sample scripts like, I love that you are sharing your opinion in such a peacemaking way. I've learned some great tips for doing this at MWEG, and I think you'd really like it. And then you can share a link to something at MWEG. You can just share the join link. Um, you could invite them to our upcoming peacemaking event with Jennifer Finlayson Fife. That's the one that's linked here. So we'll keep this updated with um, new links and opportunities as those come along. Um if you know someone who's looking for a faith-based approach to politics, or maybe you read one of our Sabbath devotionals that you're like, oh, I was just talking with one of my friends in my ward about this gospel topic, right? Share that devotional with them. It doesn't even have to include like, join MWEG 
it's just, that can just be an introduction, right? These are just different on-ramps that you can share. Um, if you're listening to the Proclaim Peace podcast, which I hope you are, it's awesome. Maybe you have a friend who you think would love this podcast, right? So you can just share a link to the podcast with them. Okay. So we just have a few different scenarios here that give you some sample scripts and some links that you could share based on um, different needs or different interests that your friends, sisters, aunts, whoever in your circle might have. But the most powerful thing to share is why you love MWARC. So we came up with a few little sample testimonials, if you will, here based on what we hear a lot from women about why they love MWIG. So things like MWIG has empowered me to build peace and work for change in my community. I think you'd love being a part of this, right? So you don't have to copy it word for word, but sometimes it's hard to just think of like, how do I even come up with what to say? So we gave you some samples, right? So these are some things that you could take and either share in a text, in an email, in a personal conversation, um, on your own social media just some samples of what you could share. Then we've got a few social media things you can share. Um, we have this reel from our conference where Denise said, um, literally it starts with, this is what MWAG is all about. And she talks about building this amazing beloved community and working together. So if that message speaks to you or you think it would speak to people that you know, you can um, share it on your social media. You can. Um, text it to someone, however you want to share this. And then we've got these three pinned posts. These are right, if you go to our MWEG's Instagram account, these are right at the very top. So who we are, what we do in FAQs. Because we know MWEG's a lot. We do a lot of things. So this just kind of took it and boiled it down to just like the very basics. And so it makes it really easy to sh either share these posts or just give you the language to talk about MWEG in a really simple concise way. We also made these cute little infographics for you that just have a few basic stats about who MWIG is and kind of what we do. So those are, they're formatted to fit in your Facebook or Instagram stories. So you can share them there, but they also work to share in any other capacity that you want. Um, and then the last thing just says, be sure to tag us. There's our handle. So if you're tagging, if you're sharing on social media, just tag us one, because it helps us kind of see who's sharing and kind of track some of that, but it also points people directly back to us so that if they, if they're not ready to join, but maybe want to follow us on social media, they can see that right there. Um, and then if you are not following our public facing social media, I would suggest it just because right now we're doing a lot of stuff that is made designed to be really shareable for you to invite people in. So Rachel, there's your lovely face. Um, we have some testimonials from some of our members. We have some awesome quotes, um, 10 reasons to join the MWEG Central app. We're going to be posting a reel that shows just how easy it is to join the MWEG Central app, things like that. We're doing some awesome giveaways tied to our member drive that you'll want to be sure to either participate in yourself if you're not over on MWEG Central yet, or to share with friends who you think that maybe would give them a little incentive to join over there. Um, okay, so that's the Member Ambassador Toolkit. We will be sending that link out to everybody so that you have it. Um, it's This is going to be really critical, I think, in bringing new women into this organization so that they feel like they're connected to it immediately. They've they know they've already got friends over here. They know that this is a place that is going to have um, community and resources and things like that, that they can connect to and trust. Um, one thing that we've just noticed is that Facebook is increasingly ineffective for us in actually reaching people. It often throttles political posts, which means not a lot of people are even seeing what we're posting um, and Instagram too. And so we just need to find a more direct way to reach people. And so this personal outreach to your circles is one way to do that. And then bringing them into our MWEG community on MWEG Central means that we can directly communicate with our members. Um, and I would just love to hear if any of you have shared MWEG with friends and how it went. If you have any great 
stories or examples like Anna's where you were able to, even if it was something like super simple, like, yeah, I just texted my friend like, hey, I think this is cool. So I don't know. I'm putting you all on the spot. Does anyone have a story? <laughs> I'll share one. I'll go first. I have a good friend who um, she was living in New York and then moved back to Utah. And I kind of connected her with MWEG. And because MWEG was holding um, after COVID, we I invited her to the conference, our first in-person conference after COVID. And she was a little bit leery, but because we had the virtual option, she was really excited about that. And, um, and then we had another in-person event uh, when we were screening the abortion talks slash basement talks. And she came to that. And that was kind of one of her real, besides the conference, uh, that was one of her, her real introductions to the women, to like being in person with these women who wanted to be involved, who, as Jen said, we look at the AMWAG women as women who want to be uh, proactive and are highly intelligent and want to continue learning and being part of that community. And so as I introduced her to that, then she became more and more involved and she wrote an op-ed. She uh, became a sustaining member because she really, really believed in what MWEG had to offer to women. And she just wanted to, to see that continue and to flourish. So that, you know, just small invitations, as Megan was describing, these small invitations to events or to just to use our resources or just those sharing go a long way. Yeah, and I do think that MWAG events are a really great way to introduce people to what we do because they get to see it firsthand. They get to interact with people, whether it's in person or a virtual event. They get to really see kind of who these women are that they're participating with. Anyone else have an experience they want to tell us about? I feel like this is like a primary class. <laughs> I don't want to uh, take over. So if someone else has something, please say. But I just wanted to share how I was introduced to MWAG. And I, even though I live in uh, Utah Valley, which is kind of the, uh, I think where the largest population of MWAG members live, probably, uh, I had never heard of it until just two years ago. And a friend of mine, I was watching her engage in some extremely heated discussions on Facebook, but she was so calm and kind to these people who were not. And I was just so impressed with the way that she was able to interact and uh, moderate this Facebook group. And I so I had just sent her a message and said, I'm just so impressed with you and how you're doing this. And she responded and said, oh, I've learned all of this through MWAG. And I was like, what is MWAG? And so she just told me a little bit about it. And then I checked it out online and started following on social media and then uh, ended up joining so that I could take the uh, peacemaking class. I love that. And that's, and it's stories like that, that we hear from people who have joined that sort of, um, we, we sort of reverse engineered it for this member ambassador packet, right? Where we're saying, Hey, instead of waiting for that person to come to you and say, how do how did you learn this? You can extend that invitation to them. Right. Okay. Any, any final wrap up thoughts from any of our membership team here today. I will just say if you, and this, this is me with my executive director hat on. So three times with three different um, um, newspapers in three different States over the last just couple of days, we've had someone reach out um, wanting to get the perspective of LDS women. And, um, and it was just really satisfying to me yesterday to think that um that because this organization exists, we've had the opportunity to, in three very distinct conversations uh, in very different states about issues that are facing women in those states, to be able to direct reporters to women who are approaching these complex topics in thoughtful, peaceful ways, um, and not wanting to cause division, but they, they speak 
um, very clearly about principled stands, but do it in a way that um, is productive. And um, and I just realized that in all of those instances, having the MWEG network is the only thing that makes that possible. The, the women who have joined, who've given us their contact information is really the only way that we're able to extend those opportunities. And so if you know any women who you feel like are anxious about wanting to make a difference, but don't quite know how, feel that women's voices should be elevated or have the opportunity to help change the world. Those are great people to reach out to. If you have women who aren't necessarily interested in that, but are anxious about um, um, sort of the dysfunctional state of our society, the lack of peacemaking, they're not really interested in speaking out, but they are interested in starting to kind of gently weave back together the relationships that are at the root of our our families, our um, wards, and our communities, those are great women to reach out to. Um, and, and I guess the reason I share that is because one of the wonderful things about MWEG is that there, it, we are offering women the opportunity to heal the world in the ways that reflect their best talents and their desires to participate. For some women, they're, they're going to want to be very vocal. For some women, they're going, going to want to be quietly behind the scenes, weaving relationships back together. And, and we can help in both of those ways. And both of those are incredibly valuable and necessary. So in this organization, we don't prioritize one thing over the other. We just want to help women bring their talents to the fore, bring their voices um, forth in the places that they want to exercise them and help them do that to the best of their ability. So that together as a group of women who um, very much want to be disciples in this regard, we are able to sort of move out and heal the world. So if you know women who want to do that, we'd encourage you them encourage you to invite them to join us. No, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you, Megan and Rachel Scholes and Anna Green. Thank you for um, the resources that have been shared. I hope that each of you can grab that link. It's in the chat. Uh, Megan put it in there. It's a Google Doc. Um, and then I also added in the chat an invitation to our event next Thursday with Jennifer Finlayson Fife, and that is how to how to bridge these divides of conflict that we may already have. So if you maybe have that, or you know somebody else that is going through and experiencing that, that you think would benefit from hearing some, you know, hearing words from a professional conflict relationship, you know, uh, therapist, this is a great event. And uh, we it's, it's not just for our members, we invite anybody who would benefit from hearing from her to join us. So please share that link and invite your friends to join us uh, next Thursday evening. Uh, we also put on there, I put a link to our YouTube page. Not, I don't think everybody knows that we have a YouTube page, but we, um, we post the grows there. So if there's a lot of past grows, we had a practical peacemaking series that we did for a long time. All of our media literacy series is on there. You can find those different videos that you are welcome to share with friends outside the organization and just say, this is what NWAG is about. This is the kind of content that we are sharing with our members that we would like our, uh, the women who are with us to, to learn and to practice. So we have those things. Uh, I see Sierra, did you have a question? Yeah, I was just wondering what time the August 22nd, well, is it a webinar? That when that will it, be. Yeah, it's a virtual, yet yeah, Zoom, and it's at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So a little bit later for our East Coast people, it will be recorded. So um, if that time doesn't work, we'll post it after, but we hope that you can join us live because I think it will really be a wonderful event. We're really excited about that. It's part of our Summer Hope Experiment. If you're not familiar with that, um, I, I would invite you to take a look to that and, and see what does that mean what have we been working on if you're new um, and haven't heard us talk about our hope experiment for the summer, but this will kind of be towards the end of our hope experiment. And then, um, and then we've got new fun, exciting things for the fall going into our election. So we just ask you guys to, to stick with us and like Jen and Megan and Rachel and Anna all said, invite your friends, um, find those people. I have found people in my ward, women that I visit teach or minister to and uh, just, or friends that I, you know, through lunches or whatever, that just, you can sense that some people are going into this election season, or they're just really feeling that uneasy feeling in the community during this election cycle. 
of where to begin. And, and they don't want, I, I think a lot of people would say they don't want to go back to how it was four years ago and the tensions and the division. So MWIC has a lot of really great tools to help us um, feel more peaceful with that. So we invite you all to join us, but thank you all for being here for our grow. There will not be a grow next week in lieu of our evening event with Jennifer Finlayson Fife, but we hope we'll see you all there. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.